So, yeah, with all that being said, uh, I guess the uh, the next thing to talk about is just, just, let's just go through a couple of news items. So, the big news of the day, of course, very, very sad, is that Tenet, the movie that we've both looking forward to for a long time, we both uh-huh. want to see, you know, on the biggest screen possible on IMAX or if we don't have that, Dolby at the very least, has now been pushed back to August 12th. So originally we had July 15th, then it got pushed back two weeks to July 30th, 31st, and now mid-August. And so, you know, we talked about this on your podcast, John, but just overall, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Are, are, you know, do you, you know, do you think that that's, that date's going to stick or when do you think this film's ever going to come out in theaters? I, I, you know, I've said this, I've, I've been negative towards it the whole time. I've, yeah. I've been saying in live streams every week, it's delayed. And whatever they say, don't expect it to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just too soon. It, if you just look at our, the way everything's working right now, it's just way too soon to gamble and take a risk on a movie where it's like your tentpole summer event. And from a business standpoint, I get it. I yeah. would delay it inevitably. I would say, and I hate that they keep giving it a release date. Mm-hmm. Oh, two weeks from now, two weeks, two weeks doesn't change anything. If it can't come out today, two weeks doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Uh, so they just need to put a uh, 2BD beside it. Mm-hmm. to be determined uh date beside it and stop saying it has a release date because if it can't come out at the end of july it's not going to come out the second week of august it's just not so um i would say it's a good possibility you might you might not see tenant until maybe november mm-hmm. or maybe early 2021 yeah you know I, and i think that you know there's obviously there's a part of me that believes that 2020 is just done, you know, that they are just going to decide, hey, let's just get the theaters back up and running safely and, you know, put out a bunch of older films, you know, put out a bunch of catalog films. And, you know, what? to be honest, I, I, I might be OK with that. Obviously, you know, we, we both have you know talked about this at length about our opinions on masks uh, and have had debates about that. But, you know, the recent news, of course, is that AMC is, is looking to force people to wear masks at the entire time they're at the theater, including when they're sitting down, still don't know exactly how that works when you're drinking popcorn and soft drinks. And if you wear glasses and, you know, what if you have health issues where wearing a mask is not good for you because you can't breathe very well. Right. So obviously that's going to cause a lot of issues, but because of that, it's going to take a lot of time for theaters to get back into enough of a swing to be able to be seen as financially viable by these studios. And so it makes sense that they would be pushing it back. And so that's why part of me does think pushing back to 2021 might be sensible. I'm myself more, I guess, more optimistic in that. I think that September is going to be when we're actually going to get these films. And the reason why is because these studios are losing money that by pushing them back, they have to spend more money on marketing because they have to remind people that it's there. They have to make either new trailers or new posters. You know, obviously when you have to update a poster with a new release date on it, sometimes that could be costly. So mm-hmm. I think that they're going to have to put them out at some point. You know, I think it's it's sad too because the one film I think that kind of hasn't changed at all really has been the Russell Crowe movie Unhinged, which I think <laughs> is supposed to be the first n- new movie Ooh. to come out. <laughs> I, I don't even think it's worth their time to even change the release date or <laughs> announce it. They're just going to be like, okay, when it, or whenever it's at the theater, it's going to be the same difference. Yeah. No one's going to see it either way. <laughs> I mean, no, seriously, like, it's just so funny, though, because, like, you know, all these bigger films like Mulan have moved, Bill and Ted 3 have moved. And, you know, some of them like for Warner Brothers, right? All their Warner Brothers, because of Tenet, they've had to move their entire schedule, right? You know, up until even going into next year. And then you have freaking Unhinged, which based on the Internet, at the very least, is still scheduled to come out July 10th. So, you know, I know that I'll, I'll probably go see that opening night if they have opening you know, night shows. As I've said, though. Um, I, I refuse to go if they're going to force me to wear a mask the entire time I'm there. If, if they say, hey, as soon as you sit down, you can take it off, eat popcorn, soft drinks. OK, I'll wear it in the lobby, et cetera. I'll let you take my temperature if I need to. But wearing the mask during the movie is just something I, I just can't put up with personally. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Or yeah. don't go to the theater. I mean, but the thing is, like, with the, but with you the movie said Unhinged, that. I honestly feel like yeah. if it's if things get delayed even another week, they're going to be like, okay, Unhinge is coming to VOD. Like it's just, yeah. it's coming to VOD. That'll be like the VOD movie. Yeah, no, that's a fair point. But but yeah. here's the thing though, and it's it's going back to something you just said. You said, "Well, just stay home." I say that to anyone that's worried. If you are worried about getting sick, then don't go. Yeah. 
And I, I think that that should be the way it is, is, hey, we are not responsible if you catch it while on our premises. We are going to take every safety precaution by washing things, doing things like that, implementing social distancing. But if you get sick while we're while you're here, we are not financially liable. We recommend that you stay home if you're an at-risk person or if you are nervous. And so to that, I would say, John, if you're worried, man, just don't go. And then I, who am not that worried, will go and will enjoy it and we'll have fun. And then you will die and I will come <laughs> to your funeral and I will, will console your family. <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> He died doing what he loved, watching the new Russell Crowe movie. <laughs> <laughs> because it had to be done. And now a huge shout out to all of my June Patreon members, Albertus Magnus, Animation Commentator, Brian P., David Bobrizic, Dion, Divex, Enrique Evangelista, Father Christopher Miller, hail to you, Father, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Wiener Dog Clan, Harold Francis, the Hunky Chunky Funky Monkey, Inflamed Wood, Intertrap Productions, Jason Clark, Jeffrey Toon, uh, Kenneth Cameo, Lady T, Laura Story, Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin with the beautiful hair, Orange Hat Reviews, Outpost Dyer, Out of Step with Reality, Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, Theodore Benton, Tina Bojan, The DJD Show, and Tina B. And also to my subscribe star members, Edgardo Martinez, John B., Perpetual Punster, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, G2 Cool 99, Dark Star 57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US 888209 Fast, Dean Heiss, Harold Francis, J. Rod, the Beer Guru, and also Nebanon G. Adams and ZK Man, and Jonathan Carney, and Jacob Juice. Thank you all so much for being a member of Patreon and Subscribestar. Um, and seriously, it really does mean a lot. Helps keep the light on. Helps me able to do things like the giveaways for my $5 and up backers on Patreon and Subscribestar. And also be able to put more stuff into the actual channel itself. Uh, including upgrading uh, different components. Whether it be webcams, microphones, things like that. All of that helps to support it. And it really does mean a lot. So thank you all so very much. Please, if you want to have your name shouted out or look at any of the other perks which include things like indeed being having access to exclusive 4k digital giveaways every single month and also an exclusive podcast hosted on patreon subscribe star and also YouTube memberships as well at the $10 and up level featuring John the Flick Pig Flickinger. Please check all of those things out in the description of this video. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day and as always, God bless.